Hello, welcome to the Stephen Tries Podcast, Series 2, Episode 22. <laughs> Same age as me. Shut up. Oh. All the twos. <laughs> All the fucking twos. This is going to be a fun couple oh, of hours. I'm looking forward to this one. I'm joined by gobshite David Reese. <laughs> <laughs> It's good to be back. It's good to be back. Uh, Cameron Green. Hiya. Hey. Hey. Have you seen him? Cameron. Mincing round town. <laughs> and crying in an England town. <laughs> yeah. And Tom Looney. Cheers. David Reese. Yep. <laughs> you went you went back home to Kent yep. for the weekend. Yep. How was that? Yeah, it was Christy, you know. I went on the train with James yeah. Olmy Rod. Yeah. Um oh, we, sins. I know, yeah, yeah. Great friend of the podcast. Uh we was gonna we got, was gonna get drunk on the way down, know. but we didn't want to overdo it, you know. It was half ten in the morning. Yeah. Um so we done a line of coke and uh, <laughs> <laughs> And I wasn't <laughs> invited. <laughs> <laughs> no, so we went and we sat next to Kelvin Phillips' family on the train down. So they told you. Yeah, well, they had like these wristbands on that was like, we went to every single game. I only had two wristbands on. There's more games than two, isn't there? There was, yeah. Yeah, yeah. but it was like, yeah, his brother's up there with his mum. Uh, don't know what's happened Did to you dad. ask? No, no, no I was just like, it, how it? do we... Did they all have dreadlocks? No, 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 no. Well, yeah, well they had then. brown eyes, so something was going on. And um, we was next to, and then some other lads come sat next to us, and they was on the Wembley. There's only, there's only two seats. How many people are sat next? No, there's like four. We was on the four I one, you know, bullshit, with the table yeah. there. Yeah, Social yeah. Distancing. Fucking David yeah, Beckham exactly. and Prince Harry were there. <laughs> <laughs> Old George was playing up and down on the thing. Yeah. Uh, the track. They no, weren't. That was He'd be what? dead. <laughs> <laughs> But it was good laugh. It was good fun. Went down there, saw the family. Lamb. It was good. Everyone got pissed. It was good night. It was good night. Uh, uh, yeah, what what was Ormrod like with your family? Uh, very good. I got very drunk very quick. Like, yeah, he was, the he was nervous, there. I guess. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very nervous. Apparently, my mum scares him. Really? Like, supposedly. You my belly poo poo licky licky. As soon as he walked in, everyone started booing him. She's like, oh, you smell of garlic. You yeah, bastard. well. Like, but no, we liked him, really. Did you cry? I did. I had tears in my eyes. <laughs> I had tears in my eyes. I knew you were. <laughs> did, you not, did you not get oh, upset? Mate, I was, I was did devastated. I fuck? Did you, Tom? No. Oh. <laughs> I had tears in my eyes in the yeah. pre-match build-up. <laughs> when Calvin Phillips was on about Granny Val, I was like... <laughs> Honest to God, all of us in that bar stood up. When the thingy song started going, the national anthem, yeah, yeah, so tarts. did I. You mean Anne's living room? Yeah, did yeah. Ormond stand up? No, he didn't. Oh. No, I think he did. Everyone was glaring at him, like, "Get up now, you bastard!" They weren't really, but um, no, uh, <laughs> they were, weren't they? <laughs> they, they were. <laughs> Adam at the scuff of the neck, like, hey, little, <laughs> you will play Daft Punk, and he had his top off with a baguette. Yes. So, what have you been up to, you? Bunkers, bitch. It's uh, uh, <laughs> a great question, Steve. <laughs> oh, it's brilliant. <laughs> Not much. Uh, the football obviously came to a, a climax the other day. We watched it together. You did climax, didn't you? Yes. Uh, went out afterwards to um, enjoy some of the scenes. Mm. Lots of people on bus stops uh, outside the well, outside the spa. There was about yeah. twenty people on the bus stop. That's hell. Sorry, on the around. roof. Yeah, yeah. That's very it. dangerous. Yeah, please, to see it. please just watch it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that was good. A lot of COVID yeah. uh, around me at the minute. Not, uh, not. Uh, I'm alright. Not us. Yeah, not no, us. I got tested yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Can you put the thing down your throat proper, like without it gagging? Gag, oh. yeah, yeah. As soon as oh, Jenna's like trying to do it, she's like, "Put your tongue down." I was like, "I actually can't. This is my ultimate tongue." So what you're reflex. saying is you've not been doing the tests? No, properly. I think so. It's one of those. I was, she just shoves it in there yeah. like that all the time. It's, uh, it is. That uncom- looks like it's a knife. <laughs> <laughs> and wax out my nose. I was ah. Like, oh. so, yeah, I don't think that's against you. I just no. think it's what you have to do, mate. But we're all clean. And that's yeah, the yeah, thing, yeah, yeah. So. Not really. So clean, Karen. What have you been up to? Well, um, there's been an outbreak. In my house, so I've been forced to play the littlest hobo in Prescott, and um, me and Annabelle had to go and stay in a hotel in oh, Manchester nice. over the weekend. Looks looks a very opulent, beautiful place. Where I was telling these, the uh, the clientele is um, not not that I'm against anyone, but the, the clientele didn't really match with the. Uh, the opulent vibe. <laughs> it wasn't so, Sasha's, was it? Was no, it's the other one. The, the, the Britannia. Oh, I've there, there, are t- this, there are yeah. two Beautiful, hotels to avoid in Manchester. clean hotel, but on the way in, uh, we had loads of bags because I brought all Annabelle's presents. I got her a big uh, rainbow-coloured 
balloon of a poo emoji. So I'm stood in the foyer, like, I can't wait to get rid of all these. These people come in with, like, pit bulls. And they're like, Johnny, help me a rag. <laughs> they, they didn't work there. I don't suppose they were the guard dogs. But these pit bulls are, like, sniffing around my ankles. And I'm going, oh, God. no, no, it's all right. I'll, I'll, I'll take them, I'll take them up, don't worry. I'll take them up, No, I'm all right, thanks. The, the next day, we, we've been out. I'm, I'm hungover. I feel awful. Mm. And um, Annabelle goes out to get, get a bit of lunch for us. And I decide I'm, I need a dump. I, I can't sugarcoat it. Went for a dump. Um, it was one of those period episodes. Oh, yeah, yeah, water like wine. After five minutes of this, the fire alarm goes off while I'm on the loo, and I think, Jesus, wet so I'll, pin- I'll, have I'll have pinch it off. <laughs> <laughs> I pinched it off and started, oh, well, I started to wipe. And it, as I told these, it was like filing down a brown crayon. It just wouldn't stop. <laughs> Get up after a couple of minutes of this, chuck some kecks on, and I'm out in the hall. No sooner, I'm by no means clean. No yeah. sooner do I get out in the hall than the fire alarm stops, and I go, Oh, fuck off! And then I hear, <laughs> straight back in the room. By the day we leave, there's this police tape on one of the doors next to us. Oh, so I don't God. know what the bloody hell That's quite common. Right? Yeah, you get a lot of a lot of interesting characters in there. Interesting yeah. characters, yeah, yeah. to say the least. But you could Britannia. smoke in the room. So oh, so, nice, yeah. nice. There you go. I had a great weekend. Yeah. I've like, been, been at my nan's ever since. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, te- she looks after us. Yeah. yeah. All what, the time in the world to poo at my nan's <laughs> house. <laughs> <laughs> She's downstairs with a fire extinguisher. You're nearly done! <laughs> The smoke, the smoke. Get out window. I'll be five minutes. <laughs> that's, that's me. The, the, the phrase pinching it out ruined my, yeah. my day there. Yeah, I know what you meant though. Like, you could be so disgusting. poetic, but yeah. when it comes to talking well, about... How else am I supposed to say that? Just, oh, I tightened my sphincter. People have seen the video. They're not going to believe that, are they? <laughs> you said you were gagging before. Is it? <laughs> He's going to have that... <laughs> Nice. Keep all your thumbs, people. That's the trick. What have you been up to, Stephen? Uh, I've turned 26. Really happy. Really proud of myself. Yeah. Yeah, It's feeling different. Yeah. Cool. That's because I'm hungover, to be fair. And then last night I did a... I did a drunk podcast for Have a Word with Max, and uh, I did have a word with Max. Um, (laughs) I don't know how he got so drunk, but around halfway through, he'd been in the bathroom for too long. I don't think he was, you know, (laughs) pinching it off or whatever. (laughs) I walk into the toilet, and it's a bit like a school toilet because it's in like a business park, (laughs) lying across the floor. No, no top on. The top just vanished. Oh my god! This t-shirt was nowhere to be seen. Underpants up to here. Uh, just lying on the floor is Max. Has he been attacked and given an atomic wedgie? <laughs> I'll have that top. It was a school toilet, to be fair. Yeah, yeah. He acted in self-defense. Took my t-shirt. <laughs> oh god! We had to pick him up, and then he came in, and they went just come in for like 90 seconds then you can go again so he came in for 90 seconds and they sort of went okay Max you can go and he went back off to the bathroom and I uh, was back on the floor oh, and then no. I got I got uh, sent a picture uh, from the taxi driver oh, <laughs> just no. Max in a field on all fours <laughs> Uh, I'll put it. I'll put it in now. No, <laughs> that's him on the way home. Didn't get oh far, mate. Oh my god! He's, <laughs> looks like the he the just he drinks yeah. until obliteration. Jesus. What's he doing? <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna Photoshop, right. Photoshop Calvin Klein onto <laughs> our new summer range. No. That's brilliant. Springs never felt so good. <laughs> what was he drinking? He was drinking vodka and then he did a few shots. Uh, I thought I was drinking the same as him, it turns out. He must have drank a lot more. Jesus oh, Christ. Christ. Yeah, he was uh, he was obliterated. And he can say. usually handle his drink a bit, can't he? No, he's got a bit emotional. Uh, Doubting himself on the podcast of all things, oh, I was like, oh, "God, actually, not on." Oh yeah, on that podcast as well. Uh, I think he's. I think he'll be fine now. Bless him. Have you okay, Max? So. Yeah. Good luck, Max. Best of luck. Best of luck, Max. Lots of love from all of us. Uh, so my birthday is split into two nights. One was a uh, yeah. ring of fire. One was a poker night. Uh, <laughs> ring of fire was told to stop making any noise at around one, which was fun. 
On a Saturday. I carried yeah. there on the next day at the Britannia, of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want the party to end. Yeah, yeah. Setting the alarms <laughs> off. Yeah. There's no fucking poking going on there, though. <laughs> <laughs> at least you get a flushing poker. <laughs> <laughs> That's very oh, good. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. very good. Ormrod was... He had to, said he had to go at 11 because he had a 9 a.m. train. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He lives yeah. life on the edge. <laughs> Ten hours to be there. He's always, yeah. he's always got to be somewhere. Yeah, he's he's never busy. in the moment. He's always yeah. busy. Yeah. Like, oh, I've got to phone my mum for 15 minutes. That's my oh, day gone. God. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> what else? Honestly, um, I have to blow this balloon up. Oh, it's just going to take up this whole dinner period. What's he blowing up balloons? I don't know. Maybe it's someone's birthday. Oh, <laughs> my God, the imagination. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down. Maybe he's just bought a horse. I don't know what you do with balloons. Bought a horse. So yeah, like a bright aerial. So thing, much going on. My dad bought a horse, right? He, he, <laughs> he bought a horse, right? But he only owns, right? Basically, the left leg of this horse. Like right. a timeshare, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Call it Chester. Maybe it's called something else, but his left leg is called Chester. Does it race? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it. it how many people does he own this horse with? Just like that. That. You'd imagine at least four. Yeah, yeah you'd exactly. hope so. <laughs> four the other, each. the other horses go and Dave's dad picks it up and they're straight <laughs> starting line. Yeah! As far as it'll go. Knowing his luck, it'll be the one that gets um, put up down. I don't know why I keep betting on it every time watching fucking horse races. That must be it. <laughs> yeah, with the fucking balloon around its neck. Chester <laughs> Reeves! That's how I look. I've done the balloon. <laughs> it's all me. It's all me. <laughs> Yeah, stick a balloon round oh. it and it can beat Jeff Bezos to see. Stop pissing Makes you liar. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Got about four foot in the air with each one. Oh, he could chase it with a hand fan. Oh, right. <laughs> Come on. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah. Yeah, uh, what else? Oh, I went to the cinema. Nice. I have to save that great tale for IMAX because uh, he collapsed in a field last night. <laughs> Put the picture back in again, please. <laughs> Uh, whilst I was there the trailer came on for Space Jam 2 whatever with LeBron James mm. and the storyline is his son is has been held hostage by whatever thing it is in, in Looney Tunes and he has to win the game of basketball to get his son back and it dawned on me it's it's a bit like Taken with Liam Neeson but <laughs> kids version <but, laughs> Looney Tunes have, have got uh, his son yeah um, That's yeah. it's, But instead of guns, it's a basketball. Yeah. yeah there you go. Right, yeah. There you go. There you go. There's a <laughs> slogan. <laughs> it, was such a, it was such a dark ending to the game of basketball. Yeah, yeah there's no one gets sold into <laughs> sex slavery. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 that's our fox. <laughs> <laughs> there's no way LeBron James can lose that. Oh, mate, <laughs> Which <go away>. is, <laughs> Dad! <laughs> oh, he, st he sticks him in a crate and on the way back there's his acne on the crate <laughs> no <laughs> uh, I saw a load of people kicking off about this whole uh, the space jam yeah because they haven't made the rabbit sexy yeah, no. right. Yeah. Who's, I mean, who's the load of people? Was it in your family's bar by any yeah, chance? Uh, we were all talking about it. <laughs> I wouldn't fuck that bunny anymore. I ain't watching this shit. <laughs> she ain't got her tits in her. I'm having to have my horse's leg now. <laughs> Still good, though. <laughs> Yeah, like yeah. father like son he's yeah. now flogging a dead horse <laughs> mate rabbit's sexy especially the cartoon ones a load of people saying this yeah, it's it's a big petition shit. going on no I saw it on like uh, Twitter and stuff I, I, I did <laughs> on one of my it. forums <laughs> <laughs> did I write this because <laughs> in the original Space Jam it was, uh, it was it Lola Rabbit is very uh, voluptuous yeah mm, really and the new one She's just not, and a lot of people saying make cartoon rabbits sexy. Yeah. A lot of American. About people. time. Yeah. yeah. This yeah. is real politics, people. Mm. I know you don't like it. But hey, we talk about the big issues here. Mm. Well, someone's made a choice Dave, not to sell the big issue. Yeah. So, it's a weird. cartoon rabbit, though. Yeah. You ever seen uh, don't worry Peter about Rabbit? It, yeah. Not Peter Rabbit. Peter Rabbit. Peter Rabbit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have a white cover that, didn't we, Dave? I love yeah, the hedgehog in that. <laughs> yeah. It's just. Oh, Miss Tiggy Winkle. <laughs> What was it? Uh, you make my wink up Tiggy or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Another the fox. reason. Fox, it, they fox. should make people put their IDs on the internet. Yeah. Right? When they make an account, so then we can identify the people who are getting off to PG <laughs> cartoons from yeah. the 90s. Cartoons for children. That's my, uh, that's my take on it. End racism. <laughs> And the intro into the internet yeah. for hentai lovers. Have yeah. you seen uh, next to the Marcus Rashford mural? The camera's just drawn a big, a big bunny rabbit with tits. 
<laughs> we love you, Marcus. <laughs> put, put a love heart on it. Um, <laughs> hard fucker. <laughs> Love, not hate. It, it didn't get the coverage that you deserve. <laughs> no, the rabbit didn't have coverage. Oh, oh, yes. I mean. uh, Joe's Valentine's special. I've, uh, I've seen it. Is it? It's, it's good. It delivers. It's oh, nice. It delivers. He's in the bath. He's wearing his dressing gown. In, in the, the bath? bath? In the yeah, bath? Yeah. What, with he, water? Yeah, he did, he did a take without the dressing gown. And he said... Uh, it, it's it too be. sexual. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, okay. but there's, a, there's a big uh, debate on Twitter about that. <laughs> <laughs> That's too sexy. That's but too he, uh, <laughs> he, fell, he fell into the bath. It's, it's good. That's good. It's good. Okay, I like I'm it. not going to watch it. I'm going to wait till someone paints it over the more <laughs> Marcus yeah, Rashford. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll go that way. For you and for you only. <laughs> Next up, firing through it. Max's Euro Roundup. Max's Euro Roundup. <laughs> yes, it's Max's Euro Roundup. Max isn't here, so I'm going to pass over to his wacky mate, Tom. Uh, do, so, it. do it like Max would. Mm. <clears throat> uh, so, football, Rob Green, yep. Sal Campbell. <laughs> uh, the Euro Roundup is uh, England lost. Yeah. Uh, what's your hot take from the tournament? I'll go. I'll go to Cam Come first. On. You can't argue. Italy probably deserved it. Mancini it deserved it for better better management throughout the tournament. Yeah. Yeah. It. Yeah. We was just uh, we done well in the first half. I thought just dropped it out after that. I got too comfortable, and then uh, yeah, I agree. Italy deserved it more than we did. Great scenes afterwards uh, uh, to fill us with pride. Yeah, yeah. disgusting. So it was nice. Yeah. But, but to be fair, people said Italian fans were getting beaten up in yeah. the stadium. It was people that it's not ran right. into the yeah. uh, the ground. So I was listening to Talksport yesterday, man, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the steward, they were interviewing like, like anonymously some of the stewards from some different companies that were oh. at different at different jobs during the the ground <laughs> uh, around the ground, and they were saying that yeah, it's there's about there's easily. 10,000, 15,000 more than a, and it was like coordinated throughout the gates. One person would tailgate in, open a gate and about 300 would storm it like Jesus. in waves. So you'd get about 500, 600 through it's a gate. Funny, oh, funny, the England team had such organisation. So <laughs> <laughs> uh, surprised me. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta take the positives, always look on the bright side of life. This is it. And this is go it. on, why are they? Positives. What's your hot yeah. take on the bright side of life? Jordan Pickford, great. Yeah. Positive, tell you what, uh, amazing. What I don't, what I don't uh, like is people go, no, he was, he was saying no problem. That uh, was boss. He was talking to the ref. You know, he was talking to Jorginho. He was just going yeah, like, yeah, he got, the, he did the ref, thing the ref was ta- goes, talking like, oh. to him, say about uh, whether it had to be on the line or not, and he's nodding, talking to him, and then he goes, no problem. He's not going. I'll oh, see if there's no problem, like because I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> I thought it was a great save for Jordan really good save because he had to stand up so late and wait and yeah yeah you can't take any out foxed him in the, in the final he did everything no. he could except well. you know save free kicks easily he just yeah I bet don't, you've said it now you've said it now you don't lose three headers in a row in the box middle of the goal wasn't it like, middle of the goal Tom no the free right. kick oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's just central wasn't it it's it is embarrassing really a really good tap that yeah, none of the save that yeah <laughs> Sad. That's why they finished tenth. <laughs> Thirty million for that. <laughs> <laughs> if, I could, if I could, if I could, oh, go without football brings the worst out of like, yeah, people. I'd be gone. Toxic we've, uh, men. We've stood, we've stood the tripods in front of the door, so Cal has to stay here. <laughs> Uh, out my way, Joe. What's, what's <laughs> next? Massive cop. Uh, no trophy since '95. <laughs> yeah, that would have been the first time a team I supported has ever won a trophy. Aww. Never seen a team as hey, won a trophy. We'll, we'll, have, we'll have a hundred K plaque soon when uh, YouTube gets in touch. Oh, There's a trophy. Oh, nice. Yeah. Brilliant. Well uh, thank you, Max, for your take. Welcome, Max. Uh, okay, this this is a talking point now prepared. Oh. So Conor McGregor broke his leg. <laughs> yeah. Horrendous. Sorry. Yeah, Rightly again. so. Sorry for the spoilers. No. Uh, it's funny because uh, he was saying he's going to take uh, Dustin Poirier out on a stretcher. Not himself. I imagine the ambulance crew. <laughs> and he ended up on a stretcher. Yeah. Well, funny though, isn't well, it? the chances, like the reverse. Yeah. Like 50%, I suppose, isn't it? But... but a lot of people are saying he's just an embarrassment now because he's mm. sat in the ring going, Dr. Stoppage, Dr. Stoppage. And, uh, and the doctor's you know, saying, I'll do my job, why don't you do yours, mate? <laughs> and then he smacked him about. <laughs> Go on, kick me, I dare you. <laughs> it, it ain't my sport. Is he Is he totally done now? Totally no, he's not. He, well, like, there, there, there's a lot of time in between things, isn't there? So, yeah. you know, of late, yeah, he's what, three fights now? That he's uh, lost more in a row? Yeah. More than that. 
Uh, I thought, well, he's, he's had he lost to Mayweather. He's lost to Dustin Poirier oh, I twice. That one. Yeah. He, he's lost to uh, Nate Diaz. Khabib. Yeah, lost to Nate Diaz. Then he won the next one. So my uh, my question is, who's had a bigger fall from grace than uh, than Conor McGregor? He was in such high regard, and now he's a bit like, oh, you're an embarrassment. Oh, Arsenal. Yeah. 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 Mm. <laughs> Lindsay Lohan yeah she was yeah. a star there's yeah. an argument for Kevin Colonel Spacey Gaddafi in there definitely <laughs> Colonel Gaddafi I want to hear that argument <laughs> and David I want you to no. argue the opposite <laughs> 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 debate club do, do, do you know who he is <laughs> nah no okay. is he the yeah. one with the, with the uh, amp, uh, hooks no it's Abu Hamza <laughs> oh, right. and he's only got one oh, hook oh right Abu <laughs> fucking Hamza <laughs> Colonel Gaddafi was um, he was a bit of a meme for for years because he had loads of plastic surgery and he lived in a very hot country so his face was like melting <laughs> and then he committed lots of awful atrocities and oh, right. um, not as funny as died, died in a tube well like, a, like a pole no the uh, train no, he, was oh, the train. he was on Piccadilly line yeah. <laughs> he, was, he was hiding in a tube in the desert and he found yeah. him and he was like no but I shot him. Didn't do any good. <laughs> he was that camp, was he? <laughs> no, don't do it, please. Oh. <laughs> they cut up his bum, didn't they? Oh. You know, oh, shouldn't I be doing that. that. <laughs> I shouldn't be doing so, that. So some no. of the hard takes. <laughs> <laughs> Right, you might want to check that. Not um, yeah, yeah, yeah. his bum. <laughs> if it's not, then that's just you, Tom. I really hope that's true. He was Gaddafi's. actually killed by a bayonet stab to the anus. Oh. Um, oh so what's God. it called when you do that? Impalement? Um, Spiking. It's, it's not impalement. Pegging. It's so For fuck's sake. <laughs> fuck me. <laughs> Don't worry, Sergeant Pegged him, get a brother. He's done now. Uh, no, it is. <laughs> it's not pegging now, oh, that's right, a, right. it's more of a strap on than a bayonet. Oh, right? yeah, yeah, I just thought it had the same yeah. meaning. <laughs> Jenna, do you want to get that kitchen knife and peg me? Ringing the police. My girlfriend's pegged me. <laughs> oh, good for you. Good for you. That's Did brave. you enjoy it? <laughs> I was having a whale at the time, she weren't. Um, uh, anyway. Uh, we have a new segment now on the podcast. Ooh. Uh, reliable Source is taking a week off. No. He's got a week cough. Hey. Where play. <laughs> Fuck yourselves. Uh, this new segment is called All Drink Today. Uh, Irish. Not because they drink. I'm not racist. Uh, the drink this they week. Do, first ever drink. Ribena. Oh. Refreshing. Black current treat. Younger. Mm. When I was younger, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Refreshing's a great word. Yeah. yeah. A treat. Longer. Every now and then I don't have it often, but when I do, it's, it's nice a treat. treat. It takes me back as well. It's nice. Yeah. I don't like the uh, the light one. No it's sugar. What's the, one, get slacking. what's the one you add water to? What's that all about? Is that cordial. like yeah, uh, also, is that cordial? Is, is, there, is there one of them? There's one. Of them. Mate. <laughs> <laughs> Just been invented yet? What about dragons doing, eh? <laughs> I got shit on, mate. When your dad walks in with the horse's leg. How are this? Please, someone take it. Chester is. <laughs> I sat there at right being headquarters thinking, why would I never get Gaddafi to market this? We really, we really missed the trick. <laughs> oh, mate. We do have fun. Do you reckon Abu Hamza can, can pour a drink? How would he itch his own arse? As like Painfully, the same yeah. well, he's got pegs himself, doesn't he? Exactly. <laughs> he's only got one. He's got one, hasn't he? Is it one? It's only one. Isn't it? Oh, he had two. Has he got two? Yeah, because I've seen a thing where they put him as a coat hanger. Oh, yeah. did he have? Did he have his hands amputated? Is he <laughs> thanks to the Marcus Rashford? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I don't know. He definitely has one. We know this yeah, much. Yeah, That's yeah. why he's so angry because he watches Space Jam all the time and sees Lola Rabbit and keeps looking down. Like, <laughs> oh, nothing us. I can do. <laughs> do uh, yeah. Roll, rolling pin. <laughs> oh god. It might be both. Yeah. You need to stay away from kitchen oh, utensils. You horny, <laughs> horny yeah. man. You really do. I was with my mate once, and he said, "Oh no, 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 no!" He got really horny over chairs. Oh, not chairs, so bacon, the smell of bacon. Sorry, how are, have you gone from chairs to bacon? Oh, I just remembered the, that, that bit's from Peep Show, but what my mate said was uh, bacon. I think it's really horny over did bacon. You both it's amazing how your mind works. <laughs> you can get things so wrong. But, you know, like, you, you, you don't know how the story's going to end here. You don't yeah. know what you're saying, <laughs> no. what memory you're even recalling. 
you know, could be someone that happened to you, a friend, a TV show. Like, might on, never mate? have happened. Could have been a dream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate, <I laughs> the, yeah, a weird one. We both got the D in food, in GCSE yeah. food, uh, <laughs> and lived happily ever after. Good laugh. You're not allowed in the kitchen at home. Yeah. Yeah. I've stuck this bep on me Shay's lunch. <laughs> right, that's, that's not bacon. Hey, guys, this, oh. is, uh, this is Headline News. Play the jingle. If you can tell me. Me the then I'd be quite surprised, to be honest. The headline is Hole in the Wall Offering Free Cheddar. Ooh. I'm going to say New Jersey from off the bat. You've done that last week. Oh, yeah, was it? Then, then, you, then you panicked and said, you'll old, you'll be right. Oh, you yeah, panicked yeah. and said, old Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> so are you are you going New Jersey or are you going America? Oh, no, old, no, old America. Jersey, sorry. New Jer- old Jer- Jersey. Old so Jersey. 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 Yeah, so yeah, the, you, you can have England then. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. England, England. England. Uh, I'll go Belgium. Belgium. No, no. I want to go to the Netherlands, actually. Netherlands. Netherlands Holland. Oh, and Tom. Yeah, I do cheese. Scotland. Oh. It's America. Oh, what the hell? Yeah. Uh, (laughs) The story is, the outdoor machine had a glitch that caused it to dispense $100 bills rather than $10 bills. Word of this favourable faux pas got out quickly. The owner of the machine put out a statement riffing off the Monopoly game saying that there was a bank error in your favour and you could collect free cash. What? Why would you? Why would you be aware of the yeah. error and then just be sat there going, "It's been like, it's been like a Monopoly game, isn't it?" You know, you <laughs> vas go and uh, <laughs> I'm assuming they'll be he'll be insured by the uh, makers of the machine. Maybe. Not if you, because you, you can't insane. store that much cash. And if it's a technical glitch, then it's the fault of you. Sure, the insurance people are going to go, oh, yeah, you said to everyone that they could come and take the cash, though. So anything that they took, we're not taking responsibility for. Oh, maybe. Yeah, there might, there might be something in that. We'd have to look at the, the policy itself. Oh, very, very um, silly. Well, Ma- Max told a story of a guy in Australia who uh, we could go at 1am and get... Was it like two thousand pounds? Uh, he got arrested least, in the yeah. end, didn't he? No, he so did, he he give himself in. Oh, did he? These are essentially doing the it? same, just just less. <laughs> Why would you give yourself in? That's what I was thinking. Guilt. <coughs> oh. No, yeah, we all said this. Yeah, yeah. fucking idiot. Mm. <laughs> My response. And then the the you said, said house arrest. You've you've technically not done anything illegal, so they, we can't arrest you. And then they they put him under house I arrest. Fucked a pigeon. <laughs> 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 Fine, you've got me. <laughs> I, thought, I thought it was bacon. <laughs> Close the chair. Close the chair. <laughs> There's some fella in the the uh, the warehouse of oak furniture house now. You fucking unbelievable! They're all taking the piss out of me. Oh, uh, <laughs> chest of drawers. <laughs> Do you know, a friend of mine went out with a girl from McFurniture. Uh, from McFurniture. <laughs> from McFurniture. <laughs> we we, we, we share friends. <laughs> uh, um, he went out with a girl who worked at Oak Furniture House, and um, then they broke up, so he, he couldn't stand the adverts or anything. <laughs> so <laughs> when it's when <laughs> Ronald McFurniture. <laughs> uh, whenever we wanted to piss him off, we, we'd go like, uh, we're going to uh, knock. Oh, oh yeah. and uh, I guess yeah, him yeah. every time. Oh. <laughs> Being added bonus if he's <laughs> last, <laughs> <laughs> if his last name was Wood. Oh, that would be great. Yeah, Double yes, whammy. Do you know what I mean? On a knot. Yes, that's a bit of a bonus. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the bonus hot wings, please. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, bonus. The talking point this week. It's gone by random. Oh, wow. oh, should you tell your partner everything, or is keeping some things private needed for a healthy relationship? Oh, but I won't tell her that I'm going for a shit when I need one. So I you won't just do tell it, her. You? Yeah, yeah, just go, and then she gets all confused where I am. <sighs> but um, I won't tell her anything like like little small things. Yeah. Like I've accidentally shagged the bird up the road. So <laughs> they accidentally do. That. <laughs> one minute I had a Ribena and a rolling pin. <laughs> one thing leads to another. Jen is so lucky. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, when yeah. you say that, oh, wait, my first thought is <laughs> an animal bird. <laughs> the bird. I believe that more than <laughs> got an African grey. <laughs> <laughs> What, what are you in here oh, for, mate? mate. Uh, I think so. Like you can keep some secrets as long as it's not like devastating to the relationship. <laughs> like what? What's the devastating? Do you want to let the secret out now? I don't know. I don't, don't, I don't really have any. I don't think. I'm quite bad for if there's something that I've done, I have to tell 
Right. My girlfriend. Feel bad. It, it, it weighs on my mind too much, and I've got a guilty conscience. Oh, there's one. Like uh, I had to kiss a girl, like for a scene in a yeah. show, and I <laughs> that I wrote, and then I did. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did it was improv at the time. I wrote the script afterwards, <laughs> and now we kiss. <laughs> 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 and I didn't really tell Jenna then because I didn't think she really had to know. <laughs> <laughs> um, <but> yeah. <laughs> it's the way you asked as well. I'm not. I wouldn't. I wouldn't lie. Yeah. No. It's yeah. more just like if something's. I don't know. Just avoid. If that you wouldn't say difficult it. Difficult conversations. But if they brought it up, you wouldn't lie to so, that. Yeah. You don't have to give an example of something that's happened in real life. But what's yeah. an example of something that would be a difficult conversation and worth not saying to your partner? I was, I was feeding pigeons in the park and I didn't know if get off. <laughs> I saw that seed around you, Grant. <laughs> like Will can. <laughs> any, any of you read a script? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm like you, man. I mean, does there any... It, you've, if you feel... If something feels wrong, yeah, then yeah, chances are it's wrong. Like a lump on your testes. You know? so, <laughs> yeah, yeah I'd, definitely. Uh, if there's, there's no point in like making your life more complicated. Yeah. Like not Because it's just... It will come back. So... Yep. The best way to be is kind of honest. Yeah, of course, uh, all the time. Yeah. Yeah. I like a stress-free life, so uh, I'll, I just don't uh, get involved in any. <laughs> really? Because yeah. when you're on Wall Street, <laughs> you seem to be thriving, and then you just packed it in one day. <laughs> the the end margin's yeah. too high, so I mean, I'm down here, boys. I'm not even going to get my bonus this year. <laughs> so yeah, I, I I tell my girlfriend, but it does come at a, a cost. You know, sometimes yeah. it'll be. Uh, <clears throat> It give you grief mm. for for yeah the rest of the day, but um, I think I, I like to I like to say everything really, even if it is at the detriment of the relationship, just because it makes me feel better. <laughs> I guess do you know what, I guess if so, if so. <laughs> that's a load off my mind. Anyway, your dad's in jail after what he did. <laughs> Stop doing a dance. <laughs> Can't be all bad. At least I'm honest. <laughs> <laughs> What's for dinner? <laughs> uh, I hide the fact that I order McDonald's breakfast from Jenna. Yeah, Not that's true. I, th I think she can see now. <laughs> <laughs> Believe it or not, I'll skin it. What's happened here? Oh, I was, a, high, I was <laughs> a slim, high flying CEO yeah. from Wall Street. <laughs> <laughs> it's a like bad investment in a horse. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I could hear you breathing from two miles away, Dave. I could imagine you find a load of receipts and say, oh, oh. I don't want Jenna to know I've been to McDonald's. <laughs> so then write on all of them, not Dave's, not Dave. instead of throwing them away. <laughs> What's that? Well, well, uh, pro Dave. Property of James Ormond. <laughs> Why is it in your handwriting, Dave? <laughs> well, well, because someone asked me to do it for him. <laughs> we were very busy eating their um, McMuffin, weren't I? Why, why is it saying poetry of James? So I'm not it, Dave. <laughs> oh, I'm not going with his words. I mean, James Ormond's not going with his words. I'm sweating now. Well done. Well done. That'll be your diet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate. We have another go yeah, over yeah. there. Mate, we didn't get an example of something you'd hide. Uh, oh, do you know what? It's more like in a in a situation when you you can choose to say something that could would either like to be defensive or to point out something. Uh, you just choose to not say it. I would agree. I guess bite you know, in your tongue. Bite your tongue. That's yeah. that's a good point. Are you in a favour? In favour. Uh, in favour of gender neutral washrooms to the toilets. Um, yeah, go for it, mate. Do what yeah. you got to do. It's fine, isn't it? You know. Yeah. Yeah. Just by gender in the toilet doesn't mean you're going to protect it from someone going in there with, you know, no, you, did, no, ooh, yeah, you, you didn't want to tell Devin about this. <laughs> 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 what she doesn't know, I use the ladies' uh, washroom. Uh, I think uh, women keep the toilet nice and tidy, where men, we just like to piss on the sheets. Speak for your fucking Pinching it off over here. <laughs> Fuck me. Go to half a roll. Yeah, I, I find... Um, while we were in the gay village the other day for Annabelle's birthday, the, there was gender neutral toilets. And yeah. then as as per just manners dictate, if I'm at the door and someone's coming towards the door, I hold it open for them. And then they say, this is a cubicle, you're not allowed in. So 
That was a nightmare. But the actual <laughs> door of the bathroom, I hold it open for <laughs> Following him. someone into a yeah. one-person one <laughs> cubicle. <laughs> you, can't, you can't claim manners for that. <laughs> no, the, you fucking when, pest. The <laughs> actual door of the toilet, I mean, when I hold it open, the women were, were very polite coming past me. I was like, oh, thank you. Thank you very much. But then the fellas, you know, the... Mm. You've been raised wrong, past. love. <laughs> Bloody kip on you. <laughs> I'm just a humble man. <laughs> <laughs> I should really stop doing it. He's end up stood there for ages, like a concierge. You know, I, I always hold my phone at this angle. Like, oh. <laughs> Come towards the light. Uh, <laughs> clean it. <laughs> Sweet Jesus. You'd make a good toilet attendant, to you be would. fair. You would. Yeah, yeah. probably would. I'd enjoy that. Yeah. Uh, you uh, you smell nice. Yeah. Imagine your, your choice of fragrances would be good. My bathroom does sort of look like one of those one of those stands, yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I went yeah, through a phase of getting lollipops in clubs. Oh. I thought it made me look cool. From the what about all the piss in the air. No, just uh, settles found them on the, on the lollipop. Yeah. <laughs> what's, what, what's, uh, what's I need to suck something. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Cameron's got his hands busy. <laughs> What's with the police and all? <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> What's, yeah. What's the most I was doing the old furniture ever. thing, just knocking on <laughs> the <laughs> kitchen <laughs> girl, you know. No. Sorry, Is your Tom. name Wood? <laughs> <laughs> and I just had a feeling, I don't know if you've even said, that you've probably given a lot of money at one point to a toilet attendant in error. Uh, well, Seems no, it wasn't error. It was because they caught me. Tr- they, they weren't there and I wanted a lollipop, so I just took it thinking, oh, what's that, 10p? Yeah. They came out of nowhere and said, uh, you need to pay for that. And all they had was uh, five euros. Oh, I gave... Uh, no, I gave 20 quid for a, a drink of water once. Oh, fair that's, enough. Yeah. That's, 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 that's the story. I looked at my wallet the From next the day and went, where's, where's the 20 pounds gone? Oh. Just bought 20 quid for a water. Yeah. Oh, but, you know, stay hydrated. Yeah, true. I'm sure there are circumstances where you would pay 20 mm. pounds for water. Like if you're you on the desert. That's it, mate. And there was just like a card thing. <laughs> yeah. The toilet attendant um, sprayed... I think it was Invictus down my ear all the other day and it really stung. Is that like a cleaning product? <laughs> no, it's an aftershave. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have a fucking toilet. Dog. I mean, at least you got sprayed with Invictus and not pepper spray yeah. this time. <laughs> <laughs> you don't work here. <laughs> well, that's not good manners. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, so gender neutral washrooms, fine. Yeah, maybe yeah, fine. Don't worry I got about the, it. the tick from me. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! Finally, we got Dave's approval. <laughs> yeah. Would you date someone who has dated your friend? Oh. oh. Depends how far back, like yeah. if they were like in primary school when they went out, it's and the then 1930s. No, and then later down the line, it's like nothing to them. But not someone that they really liked. Yeah. They broke up. I could never yeah. do that. Really? Never do that. Tom, you've lived a romantic life back in the day. Uh, ever dated uh, a, a friend's ex, an ex friend? <laughs> <laughs> Dated what am I saying? Uh, yeah. An ex is an ex is a friend. Uh, what is the question? Yeah, I believe yeah. so. Dated someone who has dated your friend. There we go. Uh, was it awkward? Not in the slightest. Uh, this per- the other person had moved on completely. Uh, so the, the relationship prior between these other two people, between my ex-girlfriend and this other person, was quite a... You know, they did really like each other, but the other lad... He completely moved on, was in a different place. So so it's a, it's been it wasn't a really a question, but how far did their relationship go? Yeah, come on. They I'm, like a full full thing, full on? I'm not sure, uh, but I know that they had liked each other for a while beforehand, for quite some time. Did See, you? It, even if they like cheated on them, your mate cheated on the girl that you ended up being with. Yeah. Um, Sorry, Dave, I think I'm not following. Uh, <laughs> what? Dave, Dave, can I give you a scenario? <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rod's date and Jenna, how do you feel? <laughs> Yeah, uh, I don't think I'd be very happy about that. Yeah. It was one of those, I'd scratch my head about it. But, but Jenna, uh, Jenna says she wants an open relationship <laughs> she, so that she can date James Ormrod. What been, do you say? Tell her. <laughs> how, how, how much would you have to be paid to to have an open relationship with James Ormrod and um, Jenna? Cool. I'd, I'd do it for like a million. I want, I want at least 10%. <laughs> <laughs> as long I'll, as there's some begging. I'll take a leg. That's all. <laughs> You just wait until they come back holding hands and he yeah. sat like, oh, and then they just chuck a McMuffin in his mouth. Yeah. <laughs> you still know how to keep me sweet. <laughs> you still enjoy Do yourself. Yourselves, yeah. Dave, put yeah. the bayonet down. <laughs> no, you got me all wrong. No, yeah. you got me all wrong. Man Summers, I think. <laughs> <laughs> you got this good. <laughs> 
yeah, but uh, we laugh now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> At least you can uh, find the fun. Exactly, in it. exactly. Um, yeah, no, yeah. Would you? Have you done that? Have I done that? Yeah. No, I've never dated someone who's dated a friend though. I think uh-huh. there's a there's a question of where were you saying before about having an easy life? Yeah. I'm I'm not the kind of person who who takes friendship very lightly or wants to jeopardize yeah. a, a an existing friendship, someone else, and um, the, you know, there's a uh, the, the more there would be if a friend has gone out with someone, right, and um, the, you'd think they shared a mutual interest. Yeah. So you'd think that it, it might work out, but very rarely would the other conflicting factors yeah. that would go into making that relationship work. You know, if everyone's against you from the off, yeah. maybe. Or at least one person against you. It's an it's a niggling thought. It's you know, fester. Yeah. It's you know it's going to be negative. complicated. Mm. Yeah, you can kind of feel it. You yeah, know, you, I mean, not that I know you'd be you'd know better than me on this, bro. Yeah, but, but that thing is, it didn't even come into it with that, so oh, it, yeah, it d- didn't even occur to me. So that would suggest that yeah. you know you could just tell that it was an easy situation. But the moment you think you're thinking, is this going to be a problem? It probably is. If something feels wrong. Yeah, it, it probably, probably is. is. Right. What happens if like, like he, has, he don't, they don't go out with them yet? Like they're not together. He just right. really fancies her, but she doesn't like him. She likes you. Which full some feelings on that. <laughs> <laughs> what if? Yes. What if? He was a skater boy. She doesn't like you. She likes James <laughs> Palmer. <laughs> so, like, say, like your friend will call him Brian, and uh, this girl that he likes will call her Susie. And uh, Brian likes Susie, but Susie doesn't like Brian. Susie likes you, and you. Brian's your best friend. What yeah. are you saying about that? Oh, so what think, do you think, do there? If you if you like Susie, mm. uh, as in not Brian, Brian. Mm. then. Uh, you just have to wait for Brian to move on to exactly, someone else. Yeah. Exactly. Wait mm. until the coast is clear. Yeah. Give Suze the goose, I reckon. Mm. Oh. Mm. And not Suze a bruise because, you know. No, that's very sad. Because I think if you are, a, a, you know, from Brian's perspective as well, if you're a mm. good friend and Susie wants to be with yeah. you, then you, you wouldn't be... Sure, you'd be upset. Exactly. I don't like Brian. Yeah, uh, but, yeah. You know, don't, <laughs> just, she'll be like Brian. Don't be a Nasty dick Brian. about it. <laughs> Stupid Brian. Okay. Let me get me underway, Brian. <laughs> Fucking Brian shock. Am <laughs> <laughs> I like Cap <Cuck> Brian? Cap <laughs> <laughs> <Cuck> Brian. <laughs> Imagine if he talked like that. I'd do it just to piss him off if he yeah. talked like that. You'd write a play starring just you and Susie and Justin <laughs> like Brian. Yeah, yeah. That's in the audience. It's Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> <laughs> Scene one. No, we kiss. <laughs> we do. It's the old play. Uh, well, <laughs> go home. <laughs> By the way, Brian, it's all real. <laughs> Virgin. <laughs> all the boys said if you got the child. <laughs> it's a super villain origin yeah, story. Yeah. That. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah, mm, Brian's going to be a school shit, isn't he? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Wait, this isn't the script I wrote. <laughs> 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 Susie double crosses Dick. <laughs> she's, ba- she's barely in it. <laughs> and what's with this solo masturbation scene? <laughs> Susie's a little bit of lipstick Dave's put on his thumb, tucked into his finger. Screw you, Brian. <laughs> and Brian's still jealous. <laughs> that should be me. Brian's his other hand. <laughs> Susie plays a disapproving neighbour. <laughs> A whole scene where you go, Mackie's oh, on no. Deliveroo. And then the last scene, go, ready to go again. <laughs> um, we move on to a wacky segment called Stephen Lies. Hit the jingle. Stephen Lies. Stephen Sweet Little Lies. Oh, yeah. He's proper fit and gives me a wide on. Cheers, Susie. Uh, <laughs> this week, I'm the detective. Ooh. And I detect someone's lying. Do we have an item? Uh, yeah. does, does. Uh, oh, how he, exciting! Exciting. Okay. I'll have to tell the folk oh, what it is. Oh yeah, the audio listeners. It's a jingly okay. cock ring. Yeah, it looks like a jester's <laughs> hat. Uh, it's, it's green and white. Uh, yeah, I'm not got quite. I'm not going to uh, go into details. No. Really, it's got bells on the end. Uh, so that's what you can hear jingling. Mm. Okay, uh, so I'll start with you, Cameron. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's this hat to you? That was a hat that I bought when I was on a rugby tour of Ireland in what must have been about 2008 or nine. I knew used you to, then. Used mm-hmm. to be a prop. 
big boy. Well, you wore this as a prop. <laughs> yeah. I'm more of an axe here. Everyone, else, <laughs> everyone else had scrum caps, but I didn't get enough attention on the bat line. <laughs> so on, on the stands, I was getting into the scrum. Excuse me. I'm coming through. <laughs> Can't have cauliflower here. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I just got that while I was there. Yeah, nice. yeah. It's been at my nans for the last gone twelve years. So, so what position were you a prop? I, was, I, I used to play prop when I first started, yeah. and then lost a bit of weight. Uh, never, never got any taller really. Uh, <laughs> played on the wing for a bit, but they just used to throw me the ball and get me to run a straight line. They got a little cannonball. Yeah, uh, mm, where else to play? Played hooker. Oh, you wore stilettos and smoked fags, did you? <laughs> yeah, that was, that was it. When I got dropped, when I got dropped from the team, I thought, Bavani, Bavani's money somehow. Sat there in my jingly hat when all the cars went past. <laughs> and no, nothing else. Fishnets and the hats. Oh. Um, the, I think that was all the positions I played. What was the question? Is this your hat, basically? Yes, no, it's my hat. So, yeah, so my hat. where about in Ireland did you go? God knows, it was grey and it was miserable. Loads happened on that little trip. We were only there three days. A couple of the lads had fish and a couple of the lads had just chips. Rice cake. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> rice cake. All the lads who had and then fish <laughs> were, were horribly, horribly sick and we had to get up at daft o'clock and have a rugby tournament next day. God. Not only... Did we finish dead last? Hmm. We didn't score a single try. <laughs> and we all got little participation trophies. My mum still keeps at home <laughs> in a little cabinet. Maybe I'll That's get nice. to see it again one day. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Please. I'll say it's mine. Uh, oh, so, <laughs> so, what was the name of the team? LSH, the oh, world's yeah. oldest open rugby union team. No way. Openly racist, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Openly easy to get into. <laughs> so, um, did you buy that in uh, in Ireland? Yeah, I bought that like, the little holiday camp, just souvenir. Oh, wow. The only other souvenirs I got are painful memories <laughs> and bruises. That's, uh, that's great. Uh, okay, Dave. Right, um, so this is my jester hat for when I played the jester at school from History Day. So basically we've done a history day a few times. So we've done a uh, Victorian day, we've done a Buddha day, mm. we've done a medieval day. Okay. And I showed up last to like pick out the hat, who was going to be who. And I was either the prisoner, you know the one that gets your head in that thing? Like, uh, like the holes. In the stocks. In the stocks, yeah, yeah. I could either be one of them. And I was just sick stuff. of stocks by then. <laughs> <laughs> I lost everything. And as a, I always wanted to be a comedian, so I was like, I'll be the jester, why yeah. not? And uh, this is the hat I bought uh, for the jester. Oh. Yeah? Yeah? And then your dad went, I'll name the horse after that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he said jester. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I, bit, I was the jester. There was a few people. There was knights there. There was people didn't ask, that were... Didn't ask, Dave, didn't ask. The king and How old were you? I would have been, it was in year five, so whatever year five was. About ten. Yeah, yeah. About I ten. brought it back home from when I went back down south. Just... Leaning more towards Cam so far. Okay, um, okay. Tom, can you steal it away from him? Uh, uh, I wore this hat uh, when I was very drunk in another country uh, and shagged a statue. Wow. Yeah. Shagged a statue. Uh, so what country were you in? I was in Romania. Was why, in... why would you bring the hat home? Uh, it was a souvenir. Uh, we got it from, so we were there for Paddy's um, and Irish bars when you're away. They're very well, uh, I don't know, the, this bar was kind of stood out. For, there's two Irish bars in town and it was Paddy's night and they obviously get loads of shit over from Ireland, all yeah. the Guinness, the Jameis and everything. I was very drunk this night uh, and I th we were drinking in these two Irish bars and I don't know, I, I must have just acquired the hat from, uh, there was a big Guinness a man in a Guinness costume that was given out like, there was, like novelty glasses, which I think I was wearing at one point, uh, and hats and stuff. It was a crazy night. Uh, uh, so yeah. so who were you there with? Just Devon. Oh. It's Devon that kept the hat because I don't really keep things. So it was been in her box yeah. of uh, keepsake things. Oh. Ah. And Dave did uh, obviously add me in the group and said, who's bringing the uh, object in this week? And he said, I've got a box of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so that adds up. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're hoping that, yeah, maybe it's a double bluff. <laughs> yeah, I mean, either way. Might have done your So, uh, you're in Slovenia. How, how many years ago, sorry? Romania. Uh, Romania. So this was when I was in Delaney Heights. I can't remember. It was after we got back from the first. So, 
Four years. Is there a video of you humping the statue? There is. Uh, well, there was that Devon showed me. I believe it's probably on my old laptop now. But um, there's a statue in the centre of the old town of Vlad the Impaler, <laughs> who uh, oh, Dracula's geez. based on. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll show you Impalement. <laughs> well, well, yeah, I, I was... I was, yeah, it's I was not Cockney, is it? <laughs> no, but I was doing an Australian accent. <laughs> saying, impale this, you can <laughs> uh, So that, that happened. Um, yeah, but it was just... I, wanna, I don't get drunk that often. No, but when you do, we were drinking cocktails, and I just got really, really drunk to the point where I actually was just—I was just being really stupid and really giddy, and I was just dancing around in this stupid hat, just being being silly, really, and just making Devin laugh and doing silly things, and uh, yeah, so that happened. So I'm, I'm torn between uh, Tom and Cameron. Oh, uh, I mean, like Tom's Tom's story is is compelling, but he's trying to make it compelling, which maybe. Yeah, you know, he's driving off the. He set. doesn't get to tell the truth very often. <laughs> uh, Cam, Cam's is probably the most believable. Uh, well, I'm going to change, man. I was actually really good at rugby. <laughs> I, get, I got the hat because I was the best, best rugby player. I was hard as nails, no nonsense, yeah. captain. I just happened to with, wear this. I'm going to go with Tom. Is that your hat? No. No, it's not. It? No, it's not. No, it's not. No, well done. Scott. I finally won one, kind of. Come on. Yeah, I thought it was it. <laughs> oh my god. That's a hey, fair play to you. Fair play to you. I can win yours. Oh god. Well so done. Yeah. Fuck me, Tom. Well done, Tom. The statue of Vlad was actually behind a gate you couldn't get to. Ah, oh, oh, just for that guy. problem. <laughs> Uh, we now move on to IMAX, IMAX, which died a death. So now it's just uh, me talking about a film that I watched this week. Um, so I watched the film Freaky. You know what? I was I was intrigued by it because I don't like horrors. No. Um, and the the advert or the trailer, as they call it, in the, in the movie biz, the, it looked a little bit gimmicky, and it was that. Oh, is it Vince Vaughn? Is it that one? Vince Vaughn, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah so it's, yeah. it's basically Freaky Friday, but uh, it's a killer who kills a girl on the stroke of midnight, basically, and she becomes the killer, mm. and the killer is now in her oh. body. Yeah. Uh, and she basically has a day, or he he has a day to stab the, the killer who's the girl. Is that is the premise? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, but you know what? It was actually it was actually pretty funny. Um, I thought Vince Vaughn was a, a bit done, but then <coughs> he's really back. good in the film. I really Vince good in the Vaughan. film. Love Vince Vaughn. Uh, he was uh, yeah, he was playing essentially uh, a teenage girl, but as a as a guy, and he was he was convincing. He was good. Yeah, it's like Jack Black in a. Uh, uh, Jumanji that's that was uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do the references mate okay yeah. fun fact um, they actually call them trailers because they used to go at the end of the film that's, that's these, well, I they used to trail on from the film uh, yeah. it's a little bit shit the way uh, you know that the killer just walks around you know it's, it's just like a long stride and just moving like that right. uh, and he keeps keeps uh, you know letting her get away you know, mm. He kills everyone else at the start, easy, you know, just stab, stab, stab. Mm. But then when it's, uh, when it's the main character, suddenly, you know, he's fumbling around and <laughs> being kicked in the crotch. So it was, you know what, I thought this was going to be terrible. And it had enough comedy, enough funny bits to redeem it and go, yeah, it's worth watching. Mm. No, that's Freaky. one thing I can never take, horror comedy, can yeah. never take to it. I just wish yeah. it was a horror film, it just commit to premise of being scary I think it's cheap and it's just such a cop out if you had to star in either a horror or comedy what would it be well if I was starring in a, in a horror film <laughs> then technically yeah. I'd, be, I'd be like an axe wielding murderer or something so yeah. do I want to be Leatherface from the Texas Chainsaw <laughs> Massacre that hat. <laughs> or, <laughs> or do, or do I want to be LeBron James in Space Jam 2 yeah. in one of them my son be alive at the end and <laughs> exactly. isn't taken away to uh, be a sex slave so it's That's really true. a harder question than you think yeah kind of be a, be a comedy film yeah. Yeah. but yeah. I, I, I horror films are my favourite genre of films yeah, I just not can't horror films. I find them a bit not. boring I, I find them scary yeah, same, I think there's always same. something to enjoy in horror I can't films. watch Saw whether it's really bad or not it's all the blood. No. Torture really. porn, they call it. Not for me. I can't be doing with slashes yeah. or, or it's just ghost films and stuff with stuff that's spooky I like. What, yeah. uh, what made me sad and freaky was the actor who plays a, a nasty teacher is is Cameron in uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Oh, yeah. oh, and I was what like, the, like, one with like, the Ferrari. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, oh, he's, he's playing a, a nasty person. I don't like this. No Sorry. spoilers, please. No. Sorry. When our heroes. Yeah. yeah. Become villains. Yeah. 
come out. But you know, stick around long enough. It's yeah. Uh, live long enough to see yourself become the villain. Yeah. 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 Your comedy film turns into a horror film the longer you live it. And also, it also goes on a bit. Like it had a good end, well, not a good ending, a nice ending. I could see what they were doing. And then films these days, you seem to go, oh, we'll get another 15 minutes. It's like, oh, piss off. <laughs> <laughs> Just end. <laughs> I've watched my film. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> Hello, Pot, it's me, Kettle. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing here to justify yeah. keeping going either. <laughs> that's, that's it though, that's fine. Yeah, no, I enjoyed yeah. that. That's the problem with IMAX, yeah, like, yeah. That, you know, I stopped enjoying it, like, very early on, then I had to listen to, like, yeah. way more of it. Ironically, if that one was, like, Max switching bodies with this girl and he did on that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. We've well, actually got a movie review. Se- seven, seven out of ten. Seven out of ten. That's generous, isn't it? Yeah. How would you rate the segment? Oh, it's probably better eight, than you. Eight out of ten. Maybe. Eight ten. Eight ten. Like you say, we got a review. Yeah. Learned a bit of stuff. Not enough fart um, noises for me, I'm afraid, and I'm very sorry. Sorry about that. I'll uh, learn from and if you like, mistakes. if you like, uh, you know, talking about films, then maybe there'll be a podcast for you one day. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Perhaps. I certainly hope so. Yeah. Uh, but until then, we'll just put a link to all the others in the description. <laughs> <laughs> now we move on to a great segment called Viewers Most Embarrassing Stories. Oh, that's no jingle. embarrassing. No jingle. Oh. This is worrying. So this is from Toby Bateman. Oh. I once shat myself in school. It was only after did I realise that it was terrible diarrhoea. How would you not realise instantly? <laughs> terrible. <laughs> oh, that's good diarrhoea. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. No, oh, I'm not going to treat it. Three and a half hours later. <laughs> it's, it's just a casual dump. <laughs> Let's get rid of This might be one of my best. <laughs> <laughs> it was early in the morning, so I had to waddle around for the rest of the day, legs spread wide, and whenever someone questioned it, I said, oh, just stretching the old hamstrings. Um, I was in year 10. What the fuck, Toby? No. So many of our stories... Are about Oddly people mouthing. shitting themselves yeah, yeah. at school. Is it a diet thing? Do people not live well? <laughs> I, d- I don't understand how many people have just shat themselves in school. Don't and, get it. And not, and not dealt with it. Bloody I'd go home. Yeah, I'd have to yeah. go home. Bloody dirty. Embarrassing, yeah. Right, yeah. yeah, like, why, why would you even try and stick around and think, I can style this out? My <laughs> hamstrings. My hamstrings. I've got this. Oh, God. you got tight hamstrings, famously. Use that. <laughs> and it, it, from that, it says that multiple people have gone... <laughs> You've shit yourself. No, yeah. just my hamstrings. <laughs> no, no, I ain't just faking cramp on the playground. Oh. oh, and then having to go back in the classroom and sit down yeah. in close Terri- proximity to terrible others. Terrible diarrhea as well. Oh, <laughs> Jesus, Toby. That's a reason to go home. Even yeah. if you haven't shat yourself, teachers, <laughs> teachers aren't going to go. No, you've only, <laughs> you've only shat yourself. You Sit stay. down, boy. <laughs> oh, God. How would you tell your teacher that, though? Like, oh, miss, I've, I accidentally uh, farted too hard here. Yeah. Probably Cameron's just had to nip out. Yep. His uh, clam was leaking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he Fortunate called a hamstring, brothers. he says. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing walking lunges in the corridor now. <laughs> To try and throw people oh, off the scent. Yeah, yeah, that won't be. Which it. isn't working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, but in the meantime, I've booked us a really good guest. Okay. Oh right, okay, uh, nice one, nice one. Oh, oh they're here. Oh, 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 come on in, please. Hello, hello, hello. Hi there. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Why have you come in? This is wet. I'm actually here to promote my new male dog grooming product, the Quet. What? I also have a female range uh. with the slogan, my, my pooch has a clean cooch. That's weird. You're telling me the fellow at PR's going to get the suck for this? What's the name of uh, your male dog product? My male do- I forgot. <laughs> That's not very good. What sort of pitch oh, is this? Dick wet. Sorry? Sorry? Biscuits? Dick wet. <laughs> what? Jesus, my chest is itching. <laughs> Nothing to laugh about. Uh, <laughs> well, some people have said it sounds like Donald Duck. Really? <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, uh, they're, they're nasty people. What's, what's your name again? Sorry. I never quite got that. 
Captain Fizz. <laughs> Captain Fizz. <laughs> and this is how you treat your veterans. <laughs> <laughs> you know how difficult it is for us how like this in Navy? <laughs> <laughs> Our chief petty officer for years. <laughs> no one took me seriously. <laughs> Captain Fizz. That's me, <laughs> Captain Fizz. Have you Three got different <laughs> accents at one time. What have you got a song around you your sing. head? Sing. <laughs> oh, sugar, swear. <laughs> So, so Captain Fizz, uh, when did you get when did you get into dogs' crutches? When did I get into dogs' crutches? Yeah. Well, actually, um, it was Joe McGrath that booked me for today. Yeah, he, makes sense. He, he showed me the ropes, bloody dirty ropes. That's the way he cleans them, <laughs> like a towel. He says he says he likes them dirty though, didn't he? Well, that's what he tells me, but that's before he met me. And you're so passionate about uh, clean, dogs, clean dogs, dogs crutches. Clean dogs' crutches. I will tell they were. It's, do you know what I Dog, dogs lick them. They lick folk. Folk get dirty. <laughs> what I what I love about your story is uh, my time in the navy. No, no, you're always so passionate about this yeah. this product. Yeah. But to begin with, you didn't have you didn't have the equipment. So you used to just do it with your mouth, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> it ta- it takes a lot for someone's voice to become like this. That's this a, is my story. It sounds like the job of a rottweiler, that doesn't it? <laughs> There's only so many things a man can do when he gets sick from dogs' trust. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't mean that ironically. I don't, they trusted I don't you. mean that literally. I mean, I got fired from dogs' trust. Oh, yeah. I lost your sack. That's why I joined the Navy. Why, why dick wet? Well, it's a bloody good question. <laughs> Thanks. I'd like to have a minute for think about, but I don't. I've only got a limited amount of time here. And then mercifully, I'll be gone forever. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> You don't have to I'm rush going up. back to the ICs. <laughs> <laughs> Away from folk. The ICU, more like. Yeah, <laughs> right. Anyway, mm, dick wet, we're on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, don't you think it's a bit of a controversial product? <laughs> yeah. Controversial. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit of a mouthful and you're used to that, aren't you? <laughs> right, these are brand new microphones. <laughs> How much does it cost, Dick Wet? However much you got, you know. You can't put a price on <laughs> clean dog genitalia. <laughs> you can put a price on it. Yeah. So. Who'd buy it? Who'd buy it? Well, sure, surely, you know, just a wet flannel will do the same job. Yeah. Use that then. <laughs> you found a new slogan. I've never really thought about this. I'm just waiting for the Atlantic Navy. Use the Navy's going to take you back. Use that then. I'm fucking the long skull. You've, you've docked. I'm fucked if you don't. You've docked here. You think? Think how brave I've ever been for coming on the podcast with yeah. his voice. I know it sounds stupid. I've uh, I've actually read your autobiography. What I love is is how. Uh, no, it's a biography. <laughs> Very good. That's why it's called. Is it? Oh. Like Captain Fish. <laughs> yeah. It's great how much thought you've put into the name, but not the price of your products. <laughs> no, it makes you question a lot of things about you. Costs more than dogs. Yeah. But, if it, but the paper can also be used as dog grooming product as well. Look, I've I've seen the way you are around French bulldogs drooling. <laughs> I think I think your your product is just an excuse for being caught mm. sucking off animals. <laughs> How do you respond to that, Captain Fizz? This is a big question with big ramifications. How far is it to Liverpool? <laughs> I could catch a scanner and never be seen again. <laughs> hey, Captain Fizz. I've seen yeah. you're not even in the Navy. It's very clear from your pictures in your autobiography <laughs> that, that you live on a barge. Well, I was wearing blue jeans. They're Navy. They're not. They're bright blue. Captain Fizz, oh, no. no. They're bright blue. Oh, God. I live not really Captain Fizz. Really? <laughs> what is it? What's your real name? Brian. <laughs> Many years ago, the love of my life was taken... What breed was it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, Brian. I didn't realise you'd had such hardship. You should have mentioned that in the book. <laughs> You've got three chapters yeah, about yeah. the best way to uh, to work a shaft. <laughs> you were so confident. You were a shaft. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, if it helps, then... Uh, there's probably people out there who've seen this and can can find you a therapist. I don't something. think anyone can help me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, You're probably right, Brian. I um, agree. 
Yeah. That is unhelpable. That's the that. first thing you've said I agree with. Yeah. If you're watching this, Susie, come back. <laughs> I don't, I won't blame you. <laughs> Let me translate. Mm. <laughs> woof, woof. <laughs> <laughs> it's not you speak, your mum. <laughs> yeah. You're getting... You're Papa getting... playing nasty Jew. <laughs> not your back. <laughs> I got bite. No working dogs trust dangerous game as long as I have that lady outfit. You know, bite back. Got uh, <laughs> his three legs hopping around that gaff. <laughs> and the dog yeah, done, they've all got clean assholes, I'll tell you that for free. Uh, yeah, I'll fuck you, got arm off. Arm off. Yeah, Joe wanted to have a word with you before you go. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, yeah, something no, about I'm sharing videos or a hard yeah, drive. No, it, it, he's got a voucher, he's fine. Oh, good. Wept. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Fucking Navy for you, isn't it? Um, I don't really know what actually happened there. I'm just... Uh, I felt really sorry for him. I didn't know... Cam dodged a bullet there. Yeah. What he done, how he got here, or who he was... Well, we know who he was. He was Captain Fizz. Captain Fizz. Allegedly. Yeah. You're right, Cam. Stinks. Yeah. yeah. What the fuck? Sorry, like wet dog. <laughs> <laughs> Christ dick alive. Yeah. Now we'll, we, we'll move on to uh, Obscene Green. <laughs> obscene oh, Green. Has he got the energy? We, we need, <laughs> no, we need something obscene. You. Obscene, <laughs> obscene know, Green you. in. You know what? You've actually got, you're actually in for a treat this week because lots of very interesting stuff has happened throughout history nice. on the 21st of July. The world's lowest ever natural temperature of 89.2 minus 89.2 oh, degrees sure. Celsius was recorded at Soviet Vostok station in Antarctica on July 21st 1983 yeah. aside from reminding me of the frosty reception that this segment <laughs> received every week I think I already know the answer to this question what would be the worst place on earth to wake up <laughs> I mean, it's during this segment. Oh, you fell at your fall asleep when it starts, I'd go, uh, and you wake up and it's still not finished. I go Guantanamo Bay. Captain Fizz is in my face. <laughs> Welcome to Guantanamo Bay. Yeah, One, Guantanamo, just in prison. That'd be awful. Once the Titanic is mm. already sunk. <laughs> once it's sunk, just, just in the waking sea. Waking up, so, oh shit! Here comes a boat. Kisses right. on it. <laughs> Oh bollocks! Yeah, that'd be annoying. I'm guessing some like either Middle Eastern or like, no, like North, maybe not North Korea. Like in a desert, some, somewhere yeah, where like I've been like wrongly accused of being a spy, and yeah, again it'd be prison. Well, I mean, this is like you've you'd have to fall asleep, and then there'd be all this big trial, and you'd be falsely accused. You'd have been asleep on it's the your question, mate. It's fine, okay. I wake up, um, I don't know, middle of the sea. Middle of the sea. That would be a bad one. Right in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. During a storm or a hot day? Doesn't matter, mate. Either way. It's pretty fucking shit. Could be relaxing for a bit. Yeah, it's true. Straight like that. <laughs> Could be on an island, you know. Or maybe off the coast of... Maybe in the Indian Ocean, off the coast of Australia somewhere, because there's more... Sharks. More, more naughty animals. <laughs> naughty animals. That's a badly behaved goose. <laughs> <laughs> more naughty fish. <laughs> He's in detention. <laughs> Yeah, I, I reckon the middle of the ocean, I thought. Yeah, that, straight yeah. away. That's <clears> good. That'll be even grim. Dust. Or on top of the Empire State Building. Can't get down. On top of it. Great yeah. view, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true, true, you know? true, true. Well, all you have to do is wait for it. You mean from the viewing then? Yeah, stuff, yeah, yeah. No, like on top of that spiky pole. Obviously not with your back on it. It just tied up. Just like, <laughs> to a lesser <laughs> extent, and a more <laughs> realistic one, yeah. um, after you've missed Witness. your stop on a long oh, bus. Right. Yeah. Could end up in witness, yeah. and he'd be like, "Oh shit, gotta go all the way back." That is good, yeah. Yeah, that's a nightmare. Or, you know, tea side. Yeah, maybe. yeah. don't even bear thinking about it. Doesn't that. matter. Wake up in Birmingham. That'd be pretty. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> if you are listening from any of those places, um, we're sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Poor you, and um, poor you for having to live through another week of that. Obscene, 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 obscene green. What's that? Obscene green. It's not wacky enough. It's Looney oh Cooney. Looney! Yes. Looney! Let's keep that energy Looney. going. Looney. Looney. Let's keep Looney. it. The ten most unlucky ways to die. Oh, oh the, the, the three most unlucky ways to die. Ten. Is that? Oh. Okay, three. Oh, let's get it down. Um, okay. Uh, 1985, New Orleans man drowned at a pool party attended by over 100 lifeguards celebrating a summer with no drownings. 
no oh. fucking it was, it was at the end of the summer uh, and it was obviously the, so all the, the, the rec centres were like closed and they had a big party because they had a summer with no drownings and when they were cleaning away at the end they found a body in the pool Jesus <laughs> um, yeah <laughs> A Thai woman accidentally slipped on mud, grabbed a live wire and was electrocuted to death. The same day, her sister was showing her neighbour how it happened, slipped in mud, grabbed the same wire and was also electrocuted to death. You'll never guess what our sister did. (laughs) (laughs) Silly bitch. This one's terrible. Uh, after a plane crash, land, crash landed in San Francisco, a 16-year-old girl who survived uh, was killed after being run over by a rescue truck. Oh, oh. that's just sad. Absolutely horrendous. <laughs> yeah. That's just unfortunate. Uh, uh, three people died inside a flight simulator when a plane crashed into it. <laughs> <Is it? laughs> yeah. Stop it! Yeah, a real plane oh, crashed into that's like a final destination. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was at the National Air Traffic Controllers Association, and, and um, in our Arkansas, and a flight was taken off, and the engine failed, and it went into the place. And oh my god! god. Yeah, Raquel. Um, uh, last one: a Brazilian bloke died in bed next to his wife when a cow fell through the roof. Um, <laughs> I'd remain in bed with your cow. Your sister's uh, on close. It somehow got on top of the uh, the corrugated iron roof, and uh, a ton and a half cow fell on João Mario de Souza while he was asleep. Oh, I'm really sorry. Uh, there is, and his people. wife's been milking it ever since. Yay! Oh, so we, we put, I'm so sorry. Oh, um, I yeah, I mean, that, yeah. They right, yeah. they were all really sad because people died. But you, you know you, you can be hilarious in death. If you've yeah. been killed by a cow, please yeah. uh, don't take offence. Well, they say like comedy's the next tragedy. Yeah, or tragedy is when you do it. Comedy is tragedy plus <laughs> <Yeah>. time. <laughs> comedy is tragedy plus time. That's, That's one. the one. It's Guys. now time for the final question. It's the final question. You don't make any money for a year or a screenshot of everything you've. So every time you've came, whatever was on the screen, if you've watched the video, is uh, is posted. Uh, mm. Maybe you've had a, a crazy wank to ground force. Yeah, yeah. that's there. <laughs> Maybe by accident you looked Oops. you looked at the Stephen Trice podcast. That's out there now. It's just one minute. It's just it's just people will be like. Oh. I don't want that. What, what are they going to say, Tom? I say? don't know. It's just one. It, it shouldn't be as embarrassing as it is. I guess. What have you been up to? Just everything's Paul chuckled. <laughs> <laughs> It's like that cartoon stuff, but it's cartoon Chuckle Brothers. It's just fucking. The animator is talented. To me, to you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or, or getting earning no money for a whole year. Yeah. I'd go for the porn one, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it's just yeah. funny because you didn't earn any money last week. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and you keep sending me screenshots. <laughs> I mean, all the money I earned last year was spent pretty much straight away. So yeah. Yeah. On Because it, it was, yeah. wasn't considerable. Yeah. So I'd go for that one. Um, would you class earning money, um, would you class uh, claiming I think uh, there's a way universal it. credit as earning money? I would not. So I'll take a year. On the welfare. Uh, so you, you don't get any money in for private. a year. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. Getting up early for CBeebies. Fuckle vision's on. <laughs> no one can see what I'm doing. <laughs> Cuckle vision. <laughs> or if I'm not Captain Fizz. <laughs> I'm going to sit this one out, buddy. <laughs> Um, uh, what about you, Stephen? Uh, you've got an, an online. I mean, we all have an online presence to a certain extent. Yeah, obviously, yeah, yeah. you know, yeah. not compared to yours. Um, would you be happy for that to be out there? I don't. You've I got don't some watch, savings. <laughs> I don't watch anything that uh, <laughs> that outrageous. To be fair, uh, I don't think there's anything bad. No, <clears> Put <throat> it to the public. Let them be yeah. the judge. Yeah. Just the amount of them that they'd be would be yeah. embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, so Dave, what are you doing? Uh, I'm going with porn on thingy because I need, yeah. um, I need what, to see my is name. It, is there anything embarrassing there? No, I don't think so. Apart from chicken porn. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's nothing, Dave. Well, that was, all, that was every you, birthday. You've just been watching chickens, haven't you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, they are naked, though. Yeah, yeah, they? not free range, you know that shit. <laughs> Uh, pluckle vision because they've got feathers. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Cluckle vision. There yeah. it was. Cluckle vision. Either way, you're staring at cocks. <laughs> hey, that is a great way. Uh, that's why you're on the bit yes. yeah. thank you very much yeah. for watching the Stephen Tries podcast I've been joined by Cameron Green <laughs> David Rees and Tom Looney hey, hey, stay hey, safe hey, stay hey. humble ciao